Is it good? Oh, it's not good. Is it bad? Why would it be bad? We're in space. You don't get any better space vaginas than space. What's up, guys, and welcome back to the life of Kevin. And in today's episode, we are going to be doing a bit of a Turing test on Winston. As I'm sure many of you guys remember, Barbie has been making some romantic advances on our new robot butler, and I don't really know how I feel about that. I mean, he could be able to love, but we don't really know. You know, we don't know if he's artificial intelligence or if he's a toaster. And, you know, I, I don't want Barbie to get hurt. I don't want her to fall in love with a toaster and him not be able to love her back. So today we're going to see if he can. So I think the best way to start would be to go out on a date, right? We can put him in a social interaction. Last time we had a party and he did pretty well. You know what? I'll give him a pass. Today we can bring him out on a date. But it's going to be a, a bit, bit of a weird date. Give me a bit of a special date. I got something planned. As I'm sure you guys know, my neighborhood is pretty compact. We have a lot of characters, we have a lot of places. Because of that, you don't have a whole lot of, like, date venues opening up, and I wanted to go somewhere new. So because Barbie is an alien, she has been scouting out some uh, alien venues to go on a date. Where is she? There she is. Okay, so Barbie, we are going to get you to travel through the wormhole. I've been told that there is quite a lovely restaurant that has opened up on Sixum. I feel like we should check it out. Barbie, you're not going to take Winston with you? Siwa Broga. Okay, Siwa Broga. I guess you can just teleport him up afterward or something? I don't know. Hey, Bigfoot works here. Oh, that's not Bigfoot. <laughs> um, Awkward. Yeah, Barbie, that's a good idea. We should probably walk away. Let's take a look at this place because it is awesome. Check it out. Yeah. Nice big alien restaurant right there in the middle of Sixum. So Barbie's already gone in, but uh, we we don't have Winston. So can you come back? I think we can we can bring Winston here, right? Bring Winston bot here. Yeah, it's just that easy. You just teleport him up. Well, I guess if we're on Sixum, you could technically dress like an alien, right? I mean, you wouldn't be judged. There's a lot of people here. Holy crap! How did everybody get here? I don't understand. What? Donald Trump is going upstairs. We gotta keep an eye out for him. Okay, either way, uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's remove disguise. Alter disguise? No. Remove disguise. Oh, Patrick's here too. He looks really upset. I don't, how does everybody get up here? Did they just like start a charter bus ever since I started partying up here? They must have. Yeah, look at that. Alien Barbie, it's been a while. Okay, so we need to ask Winston out on a date. Romance. How do we do that? Ask on date. There we go, we're asking him out on a date. What do you say? That was a yes. Oh, I didn't take that into account. I don't think they really like dating up on Sixum. Now that I think about it, aliens, you know, they, they're more into the whole abducting and probing and impregnating people rather than romantic interactions. So this might not actually be considered a date. It's more so gonna be a, a dinner, but it, it's a date. We just won't have any objectives. Santa's here hitting the wine and glitching the hell out. Okay, I shouldn't really be that surprised. Let's request a table. Barbie's flirty. It's like I said, I know the Barbie likes him. There's no question about that. She's flirting and hitting on him all the time. They're just letting everybody in here. Death, Donald Trump, Santa Claus, all the fake characters. But yes, like I was saying, I know the Barbie likes him. That's pretty apparent. She's always making advances, but it's... Winston end of things that I'm curious about. Are you guys gonna go in? There you go, okay, now we're moving. And uh, I don't really wanna control Winston for this date. I, I know I could, I could make him do everything that I want him to do, but that kind of defeats the purpose. <laughs> so for storytelling purposes, I'm gonna be just controlling Barbie. So we're just gonna, we're gonna come on in, we're gonna get a table from uh, Leland Tipton. He doesn't seem very happy. What do you, you, you don't like aliens here? You're on an alien planet. Okay, you're just gonna show Geralt to a table. You're gonna ignore me? Son of a bitch. Yeah, Patrick is here with his wife. <laughs> Awkward. What are they wearing? You guys have very, very strange working clothes. I'm not gonna lie. And they seem to have a lot of... Okay, yeah, hey, Darth Vader. I guess you would eat here. We're having some trouble working our way through this very narrow corridor. Come to think of it, I think every one of Barbie's exes is here. Death is here. Patrick is here. Is there anybody else? Am I missing somebody? Barbie's seen a lot of people in the past. It's never gone well. So I don't have a high hopes for Winston. Just calling that right now. But one way or another, I keep thinking that's 
freaking Bigfoot. It's not. It's just some lady. There we go. Okay, we got a table. They give us a table for four. Let's take a look at the inside of this place. I want to put the walls up. It's it's pretty cool. I really like it. I'm going to guess that this is behind a wall. Yeah, okay, that's behind a wall. What about the upstairs? Why wouldn't they sit us upstairs? This is so much cooler. Look at this. It's all alien and stuff. And they got TVs over the tables. Oh, I see how it is. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Santa, what you doing eating with Donald Trump? I don't know. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Barbie, are you okay? Oh, I thought she was sick. No, she's just got a case of the vapors. Okay. Are you ordering right now, Winston? I honestly can't tell. No, we're chatting. Okay, let's, um, let's order. Can we do that? Order for table. Winston eats, I'm pretty sure, right? 90, yeah, I'm 99% sure. He, he doesn't consume it like a person, but... I mean, everything needs a source of energy. So what do we want to get? The chef's choice is the Simsmopolitan. Hmm. Okay, let's get, um, yeah, let's get two of those. Sure. And for food, lots of weird alien food. Okay, we can, we can get a couple of uh, glacier-infused iceberg lettuces. Why not? No, 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 we need the space taco. I didn't even see that there. Okay, we both got space tacos. I think that that's far more suiting. You, you don't go to, you know, Mexico and eat American food, just like you wouldn't go to Sixum and eat human food. You gotta eat the alien food. They, they make the best alien food up here, I can tell. So we got a couple of space tacos coming our way. Should be good. So he can definitely carry a conversation. That's a good sign, I guess. I, I was looking up Turing tests, and if you've never heard of the Turing test, it's pretty much the way of distinguishing whether or not a machine has artificial intelligence. And it, it, it's pretty rough around the edges for a definition. You, your pants are way too tight, dude. That is distracting. But the idea is you should be able to put like a young child in a room and the robot in a room and be able to communicate with both of them without actually seeing them. And if you can't, Barbie, that's inappropriate. Actually, that's interesting. If you can read his mind, then he has a mind, right? Hmm, the plot thickens. But if I could stop getting interrupted by the tight pants and by the brainwashing, you would put both of them in a room without looking at them. You shouldn't be able to distinguish between one and the other is kind of the rough idea. So essentially, if, if artificial intelligence can trick you into thinking it's a person, then it would be a person. But even then, I don't really agree with it. It's a very weird thing. But, uh, you know, so far we've seen a couple of good things. I'm curious, so can we do more alien stuff to him? Can we, um, what can we do? We can scare him with a probe, but it would require us getting up. Huh. That's, that's a pretty, uh, what? I, I've never seen that one before. I definitely want to see that, but I don't really want to stand up because I feel if we could stand up, we could kind of botch the whole dinner. The dine out pack is a little bit buggy. Did that, did that lady just, did, why is everybody farting? Are you okay with this, Winston? Okay, okay, we, he laughs at it, but he also did this. So he has olfactory senses. Interesting. Ooh, I think her food is here. What, are, did you bring her space tacos? Yeah, thank you very much. Your clothes are super interesting. I don't know why everybody's wearing the American flag in space. Th this isn't America. <laughs> okay, I don't want to be the immature one here and say that our food looks like a giant glowing space vagina. <laughs> but I mean, come on. Oh God, that's the inside of Barbie's head. What is with the Sims lately and showing me the inside of people's heads? Is it good? Oh, it's not good. Is it bad? Why would it be bad? We're in space. You don't get any better space vaginas than space. Barbie, what are you doing? What is she doing? Eat and learn experimental food. She just got up and... What? Oh, I see what you're doing. We're going to put Winston in an awkward situation and see how he handles it. She just got up and went and started eating at another table. How are you going to handle this, Winston? How do you react? Because I would have no idea how to react. Oh, she's sick. What? Why are you ill? This is your planet. Okay, Winston followed. I guess that's a good answer. I don't really know. How do you how do you get sick? Are you sick from the food? I don't understand how you get sick on your own planet. Like, is it a coincidence? Does she have the Obama pox from last episode? 
probably should have brought some freaking medicine with me. I never even thought about that. Okay, I want to see who else is eating here at least. So we have um, we have Bob Ross is here eating with Clara Bjornsson. That's a little weird. They sat down again. That's good. We got Darth Vader and Jeff Denton. And uh, the upstairs seems to have cleared out. Huh. Okay, then. I guess everybody kind of took off. Makes sense. You probably can't spend a whole lot of time in space. So how are you guys doing? Do we want to, like, order dessert? Barbie's dying of illness. She's still flirty. Yeah, can we get uh, can we get some more space vaginas over here, please? Thank you. Okay, while we're waiting for that, I need to see what Scare with Probe looks like. Because this is interesting. Barbie was conceived with a probe, so I'm curious what the probe looks like. So are we just gonna flash? Oh yeah, oh my god, oh my god. That, that's gonna go right up your butt. It's got a duck on it. That is terrifying. Barbie is kind of dying. We might need to go home and continue this after some medication. I mean, she's a trooper. She'll do whatever it takes to get her robot, I guess. <laughs> but she's uh, she's not doing very well holding in there. What did you guys get? What the hell is that? It's all sparkly. That's pretty cool. And you got um, you got a pile of sludge. Delicious. Do the chefs not wear pants here? Is that really happening? I mean, it looks like it. Let's try to get in for a better look through that guy's crotch. Yep, that is a dramatic lack of pants. I am so confused. So the chef, the, the kitchen staff doesn't wear pants, but uh, the wait staff wears incredibly tight pants. What a strange restaurant. Winston isn't touching his food though. I don't understand. Barbie ate all of hers. He didn't eat any of his. Where are you going, Winston? Winston, you can't. No, you can't go. No, you can't. Even if you go slowly, you're not allowed back there. They don't have pants on Winston. What is he doing? He's giving the chefs a thumbs down. He's super unimpressed with the food by the looks of it, and now he's dancing. He's just he's just gonna dance in the kitchen. I don't know what to make of this. I don't get it. He's just like floating around inside people and stuff. And like Barbie's over here just hanging out and talking to Obama. But uh we're not really doing a whole lot with Winston right now, which is No Winston! Winston, you're not allowed to freeze the weight, staff. That's not socially acceptable. Okay, you know what? We we should probably leave. Who gave Winston a freeze ray? Maybe it comes with him? Did we buy that accessory? Yeah, we should we should definitely leave. So Barbie picked up the tab by the looks of it. The restaurant hopes you enjoyed your meal. Simoleons have been automatically deducted from your household funds. Okay, so they don't seem to have noticed that we um, assaulted one of their wait staff. Let's get the hell off this planet. All right, we are finally home. Barbie's got herself for some medicine, so she's feeling better. Put the disguise back on just so we can fit in a little bit. Where did Winston go now? What is What is he up to? He's cleaning. Good. Okay, we're home. He's doing his job. We'll let him get this sorted out, and then we'll continue. I need to figure out what I want to do with him next. I should probably mention, because a lot of people have been asking yes, why Kevin was stopper. looking skinny, and it happens, you know, he fluctuates, he puts on his weight, and then he loses it. He was an athlete, and he's not anymore, so, you know, it goes up and down. Sometimes when he's in an episode, and he has to spend a week preparing, and then all of the recording, and so on and so forth, then he doesn't get to exercise, but... You know, we're doing a bunch of Barbie stuff now and Winston stuff, so uh, he's getting buff again. He'll stay that way. Emma's always buff. There's no preventing that. Okay, it looks like Winston is done cleaning, so let's just have a seat and see if we can kind of interact with him a little bit more. We can make a move. Let's try that. Let's try making a move. Seems to be reciprocating. Well then. It's such a weird thing to see, mostly because his head is a cylinder. <laughs> so peculiar. Just staring longingly into his three eyes, two eyes, one eye. I don't know. Is he whispering sweet nothings into your ear, Barbie? I can't tell because he doesn't have a mouth. Whoa. Okay. Well then. How do you kiss without a mouth? Yeah, let's try that. Let's try a first kiss because I'm curious now. How exactly do you go about kissing without a mouth? Something that I've asked myself every day. So if Barbie can find her way through the door, there we go. We managed. See how this is going to work. Oh, come on, Barbie. It's not your first kiss. I see. 
A little, little bit of Don't distance there. We saved some space for Jesus. <laughs> that was weird. It's so funny to find the whole family out here actually using this thing because nobody ever uses anything in this house. Like, Emma would always be working out. If she's outside, she's exercising. And now she's using this. I mean, I think it's technically still exercise, so she's probably still gonna develop a 12 pack from it, but either way, it's pretty great. I really like it. I still don't think it was worth $10, but uh, pretty interesting. What are you guys doing? You gonna use more of the slip and slide? Barbie was slipping and sli sli slipping and slidying. You guys are going to, oh, you're woohooing. Sit together and mess around in the hot tub. Ooh. Well, oh God, no, wait. I don't know if Winston is waterproof entirely. Don't, sub oh. don't submerge him. No, no Barbie. Patrick is calling. Patrick calls and said, I can't get you out of my mind lately. Do you want to go out on a date? Yeah, mm, you know what? I'm sorry, Patrick. I'm busy banging my robot butler in the hot tub? Something I never thought I would hear myself saying, but I'm sure he would understand. He's a swinger anyway. So yeah, I really hope that Winston is waterproof. He was expensive. I really don't want to have to buy another one. They've been under there a while. Whoa, I don't want to know where that's coming from. Whoa, what? You guys okay? Did you just like detonate something down there or what? Damn. Well then, I guess that answers some questions. A lot of people have been asking if a robot can woohoo. A robot can woohoo and a robot can go underwater. No problem. Donald Trump has been hanging out around my house an awful lot lately. I don't know how I feel about it. Yeah, you better cross the road. Do you think Kevin is judging right now? I really don't know how I feel about this. Would, if, you, if you found your daughter naked in the hot tub with your robot butler making out, how would you feel? I think Kevin more so wants to get in, but he can't because that would be awkward. Oh, no, no, Kevin. Kevin, that's awkward. Kevin, you can't. Really? What are you holding your stomach for? Do you got diarrhea? You don't get in the hot tub with your daughter and her sex robot when you have diarrhea. Yeah, okay, things got awkward real quick, and uh, I guess we're just all gonna get out. <laughs> Damn it, Kevin. Okay, let's see if we can impress Winston with a backflip, because that's the kind of thing that Barbie would really be good at. So we're just... Whoa! What the hell was that? Kevin? Where's Winston going? What the hell? Winston is long gone. Did he just killed Kevin? <laughs> Kevin? When did I get a pointy stick? Where's my pointy stick? Oh my God, I had a pointy stick this whole time. Why did nobody tell me? Okay, well we are in business. Okay, I was gonna take one of them and just do this. There. Disarmed. Problem solved. I'm like the wee happy few MacGyver. 